In this video, we are going to discussing about end of session in peers. And let's take a look on how it works in Auto 13. So let's start in our point of sale module. So the end of session is available when in the normal case we can see an example for that we are creating a new shop session it's a shop and saving this in the normal case we are starting a new session and ordering what we want and making payment for this validating the payment and so on and we closing this and then we can see here it's for closing the journal entries and the invoice automatic invoicing we can make it clear and here for end of session we can Check the shop too. Here we can say inside the settings. Here some options are enabled that uh, cash control. This is the reason for start opening and closing. It means starting the session and stop the session or session ending we can see the difference by enabling this and here I enable the prefill for easiness and we are starting the this session that means it uh, it is enable the cache control and we are starting the session and we can see the there is an option for open the session and we can see the starting cache here and by clicking the open session we can see an default cache open we, we can see it and this is configured when here we can see inside of our shop too here I given the default opening you can define it if you want or we can define it from there also so here I defaultly here I entered some value for default for opening balance and you can say this and so we are starting our session we can confirm this and if we want to change some so we are changing it it's the one rupee coin is in 10 and 2 rupees in 20 synthetic Ten. and we can delete this so this is now our starting cash open and we confirm then we can see the next stage is start the session so it's change it to new session to opening control and we are starting 
we can set the starting cache here and then we can see that here are option for continue selling or end the session from here also we can see in the shop 3 or the session we open first there is no option for this directly to the session and then after closing the session we can only validate this uh, in this case when we open the cache control or we enable the cache control can close the session from here by clicking the end of session and for entering to our session we can continue selling here so we entered to our session and we can make some payment or we can make some order and here we notice you notice that i'm not assigning an customer here and we making some another order so we can validate it also and we are closing the session then here we can the session here and by clicking the end session then here we can see the difference that is the starting balance plus the transactions so we can't validate or post because we are not set at the loss of a closed account if you want to set it the lost account you need to go to the payment or the payment methods and inside the cache by edit for the cache channel here we can see in the advanced settings there is an option for Closed account and profit account. The profit amount will be inside of it, and the lost account will be inside it. And we can post the loss and profit inside the account if you want it. So we are setting this cash and bank. Then after it, we will come back to our session. and we can close it so the different difference balance A will be inside the loss account and we can make it as our profit or we can set our ending balance So that we are removing the loss account from here oh we'll check that we're starting the session again and we are opening and we can see the starting balance is there and we can start the session and we can end it after making an order
so there is the minus amount and here we can see we are not setting the closed amount if you want it for in the practical case we can use the original amount like we started the opening balance as like so we are adding example for that the minus amount here Oops. and here we can see it's in profit because now in the closing time we can see the cash is actual cash is 2000 so it's profit we can see it's in the starting time this is the cost and we can see the ending it's in 2000 so this is become the profit and we can validate it easily by confirming this and this is what the ending session in session or the session ending in auto 13 pis thanks for watching this video if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odoo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info at cybrosis.com